Hey, 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 it's uh, Isaac. I want to share with you a nice video about how experience influence attack power of a character and how you can develop your stats. So basically every level you gain the game gives you two points of either attack or defense. I will briefly go through all the levels because the basic levels don't give much value to your character and you have to spend a lot of money on them. And if we take all alter artifacts out, we have attack 1.6 times bigger than at the beginning and the defense almost 4 times bigger. So, but that wasn't very interesting. So let's jump to level 30 and see how much influence each level has per enemy. As Again, even less than before, 22, 87, around 25, level 33. There is slightly change. 27 Some decent hits on charge attack 97, 96 and 24 on basic attack As we come to level 40 It gets better No much better, but it gets better. So finally we are getting hits around 30 points and on charge attack we have get 100. This is first 100, so it happens on level 39. Some fun starts at level 39, 40, because finally you can get some 97 around 100 damage on basic attack 29 and your attack and defense go approximately five times of what they were in the beginning and when you finally finally get all the resources and be able to ascend then when the magic happens Okay. It's a fake. She's still weak. <laughs> What's cool about level 40 is that after you ascend it twice, you can level up your talents. And this changes the power of basic attacks quite a bit, because uh, if you compare normal damage, which is at 37, and then uh, ascend, to 40 this gives like free power free percent boost to basic attack which uh, added, adding powerful weapon can give quite an effect but let's first try uh, her with uh, basic yeah. stats and then compare with leveled up talents wow 41 that's the difference yeah it's visible definitely much much better okay this one is harder because it has a shield, but 27, 26, and 109. Definitely higher numbers. Okay, let's let them be. Okay, I'll kill this one. This, let, let them run, okay. Go away! Go where you came from. Like, exactly. And don't come back! Don't come back! You hear me? I don't want to see you. Come on. Okay, did you go away? No. Nevertheless, let's update 
basic talent, normal attack, level up, I have enough resources, okay, and now it's level 2, so we have 40 damage, second hit 2% more, and charge attack 10% more, okay. So let's compare to the previous numbers, so we get 170, okay, 44, 45, okay, this is instant trend, because there was 35 at max, and now we have 44, 117 compared to 100, this makes a difference, this makes a huge difference, okay, let's see what other talents we can update, mirror and is a very current this is maxed this is solaris come on get me this is max okay mirror reflection definitely worth updating but unfortunately i have to do a dungeon to get it but updating and talents and ascending character makes a big big difference and definitely artifacts and leveling artifacts make even bigger difference because let's put some basic equipment on her and pick another weapon And let's see what happens now, when she has some gear. So welcome, guys. Pig! Okay. 300, 378. Now we are talking 500 quid. That's what I like. Great. Okay. So this is basically how the stats change after ascending and how basic leveling influences character and how much actual weapons influence character because it almost doubles my attack when I add all the artifacts and good weapon. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you like it, please uh, leave a thumbs up and come back 